Hey folks, back again, and today let's go check out a new supercharger that is under construction, and we will let the car do the driving. This supercharger, it's a V4 stall, uh, you know, they're really like V3 plus, in, uh, to be more accurate, because the stalls are V4, but so far... Uh, all V4 stalls in the U.S. are still using V3, uh, you know, hardware, um, switch gear, all that good stuff is all V3 spec. But this one is still under construction. I believe they have added the, um, the transformer to it. That's been put in place. I don't know if it's all wired up yet. Since I saw the last pictures, um, there were still a bunch of conduit with wires hanging out right at the base of the green transformer, the utility transformer. So I thought we'd go check it out. Um, two fun little complications on this ride. Number one is... Uh, it is super cold here in upstate New York, like it is in much of the country. I understand there's snow in Florida right now. There's snow in Texas right now. Um, so it's cold all over. When I woke up this morning here, uh, about 25 miles above Albany at my house, I saw negative 14 degrees this morning on my thermometer. That was around... 5 30 6 o'clock this morning and uh, so that's the one and, and what that means for a complication here is uh, the battery you can see is super cold I've got the snowflake icon there right next to the battery I have basically no regen right now so it'll be interesting to see how well uh, the car is able to slow down for uh, traffic with using regen but also I imagine it's going to have to apply some good old-fashioned friction brakes to slow down because I've got basically no regen the battery is really really cold right now having sat out still outside for the last few hours that's complication one number two is not only is this supercharger under construction it's at a Stewart's convenience store gas station that is that itself is totally brand new so um, I'm able to select it on the Google map built into the car but the map itself of course is not updated it doesn't show the uh, Google Earth you know view of that store sitting there because it is brand new it was just built and just became operational maybe four weeks ago four to six weeks ago somewhere in there uh, probably six weeks ago and so um, I'm not a hundred percent sure whether the car is gonna know how to pull into the parking lot so I can't really count this one as far as you know disengagements and that kind of thing I can't fall it if it's not going to know how to pull into the parking lot of this Stewart's because it's not really properly mapped. Um, having, you know, being a brand new building on a lot. Of, they actually, I believe they took over two different lots. One was a, oh, there and we're slowing down. And yeah, it's definitely applying some friction brakes. I can see there it was uh, moving brake pedal so um, where this new Stewart's is with the new supercharger here in uh, Latham New York it is a, an old site of a uh, it was some type of motel uh, it wasn't a, a, a national chain I don't believe it was just a local motel that frankly was a little run down and uh, and mostly vacant. They got rid of it. And there was also 
something else. It might have just been a bare lot next to it. Either way, they I'm pretty sure they combined two lots and made a fairly large Stewart's store. Um, it's a good size. I mean, it, it's like all their other new construction for the most part. So, um, yeah, I thought we'd go check out the uh, progress of the supercharger. Last I saw, it's um, all of the stalls were still wrapped in like white um, plastic or tarps, basically. Um, so we'll see if that's still the case, if everything's still wrapped. Um, you know, and we'll see what kind of wiring, if any, they've been able to do since I visited last. I, I went there, I put the information onto the uh, supercharge.info site. I, I added a couple of photos and then somebody else later on was able to add a couple more photos after mine that showed the transformer in place. When I was there, the transformer was not there, but the pad was and all of the conduit and wiring sticking out of the transformer pad was just sitting there all coiled up. But uh, I understand now a transformer's in place. We'll check it out. Maybe they've got the, uh, yes, I know I'm looking out the windows here. Um, maybe they've got the tarps off of the stalls. It's eight stalls and it's a good location. Um, it'll be uh, the only V3 or higher um, set of stalls in the direct Albany like proper. There are two other superchargers um, that you could say are in Albany. One is at the Crossgates Mall and that's actually 20 stalls. When that went in, that was tied for the largest supercharge supercharger site um, when it went in. Uh, it was my understanding that the Crossgates at Albany uh, supercharger also went in at the same time as some other 20 stall site out in California. But we're talking back in 2020, I think, 2019 or 2020. And it was tied for the largest supercharger site at the time. Of course, now that's been way exceeded. And those were even a V2 site as well. Now it's over here on the left. I don't, yeah, I can't fault it for not knowing how to get in here. We can turn left in here. So we're just gonna go right here. And now we can pull around <clears throat> and if I turn around this way, <laughs> you can see there's a lightning parked in one of the stalls. That's kind of funny, but uh, here I'll step outside for a second and show you this site. Okay, so there is the utility transformer. The meter box is on the side there. If I zoom in, you can see the meter box, but no meter bubble yet. The meter itself is not there. So then we've got our eight stalls and the one in the middle there that the lightning is plugged or uh, just pulling out of is the one that is the uh, handicap accessible stall. And that, uh, little structure there at the end is actually for the stores garbage and recycling and whatnot so we've got eight stalls here all still wrapped up ready to go uh looks like all the wiring was done there except yeah so we just need uh to be hooked up to utility power and i believe that's when they will go ahead and put the uh finish up the meter there and then maybe we can get some power so this will be a great little site uh, and it'll be the only V3 site that you could really call being in Albany. There is the Glenmont uh, V4 stalls that I've showed in my other video and that one's just 
just technically outside of Albany, just south of it. Uh, but we're get, definitely getting some nice new uh, chargers here. And this is the Stewart's. So uh, good for drinks. They got some quick food in there as well. Quite a lot of uh, stalls here for gas. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 gas pumps. That's pretty pretty amazing that they were able to fit that many on this site. But it, like I say, it was really two sites in one. So there you have it. A little bit of FSD over here. Worked great. Handled all the traffic well especially even in the cold weather. Take care, keep tripping. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.